guys, it's Steffi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my March book haul. Yeah, there's quite a lot of books. I'm not even going to make excuses. There's a lot of them. But I'm going to get through these really quickly, just show you what I picked up. The first book that I have to show you is Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray. This was sent to me for review by Alan and Unwin, and I'm so grateful that they sent this one to me because it was one that I requested and it was one that I really, really, really wanted to read. And I'm so looking forward to picking this up. The next two books that I have to show you are books that I won in Goodreads giveaways. So the first one is The Maxim Chronicles, A Year with a Champion Poodle. I entered this one because I have a poodle. Oh well, my parents have a poodle. I did used to have a poodle. He now lives with them. I also received Lifespan of Starlight by Talia Kalkipsakis, I think. I hope I'm not butchering that. And I believe it's about time travel, but that's all I know. So as soon as I get to it, I want to read this one and see what it is all about. I believe it's the first book in a series or a trilogy or something like that. In my subscription boxes this month, I also picked up Frog Kisser by Garth Nix, as well as Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. And I will leave links to both of those unboxing videos up above for you so that you can check them out. Next up are the 12 books that I bought. Yeah, no guilt. The first one is The Burning Page, which is the third book in the Invisible Library series. Obviously, I really enjoyed the first two books, so I want to read this one as soon as I can. I also picked up A Tyranny of Petticoats, which I believe I heard about on Kirsty from Melbourne on My Mind's channel. It is edited by Jessica Spotswood. It is a collection of short stories and they sound awesome and I definitely want to read them. When I picked this up in one of the small local bookstores, at the start of the month, the guy at the counter just said that he was so excited to see someone pick up the book because he'd had a flip through it and the stories that he had read were really awesome, which makes me really excited to get to it as soon as I can. I also picked up Star Wars Aftermath Empire's End by Chuck Wendig, which is the third book in the Star Wars Aftermath series. And I've read the first two books. I really want to get to this one and keep going with my Star Wars reading. I picked up Dragonfly Song by Wendy Orr. I believe this book has been shortlisted for the CBCA Awards this year, which is the Children's Book Council of Australia Awards, uh, which we celebrate in Book Week later in the year. And I thought this one looked really interesting. I know of Wendy Orr. I have, believe I've read, yeah, I have read Nims Island and I really enjoyed that one. The cover of this just, look at that. How intriguing is that? I saw it and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna read one of the books that's been shortlisted this year because I don't often read the novels, I tend to read the picture books. So I'm going to give this one a shot. I also picked up Vengeance Road by Erin Bowman because I've heard lots and lots of good things about this and I saw that the there's a follow-up book, Retribution Rails, which is coming out and I don't re often read westerns. So this sounds really intriguing and again, stunning cover. Next is a book that I have ummed and ahed about picking up many, many times, but I finally picked it up because well, quite frankly, it was, I think it was like 14 or $15. And that is Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman. First of all, it is, you know, a stunning cover with black and, and gold. I also really am intrigued by Norse Mythology. But I thought because this is a series of short stories, I can sort of pick them up and, and read one every now and then, and that will keep me going. I also picked up Perfect by Cecilia Ahern because I have just finished reading Flawed and I really enjoyed it. And this book came out like a day or two after I finished reading Flawed, which was awesome. And yeah, I'm, I'm very intrigued to see how this story concludes because I believe this is the last one. The next book I feel less guilty about because I've already read it. I just picked up a hard copy of it because I wanted it on my shelf because I really love this book and it is Every Heart of Door by Sean and Maguire. I also picked up a copy of Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, which I, again, is, is a book that I have ummed and ahed about for many, many months. And then I saw this cover and I really love this cover, this cover. I've seen the other covers for books with the illustrated people on it and I'm not a big fan of people on books, but I like this. I also picked up The Magician King and The Magician's Land by Lev Grossman. In Australia, you, we can't really get these covers. I think these are the US ones, but since I bought the first one in this cover, I had to get these ones. So I got these from Book Depository and I'm really excited to get into them at some point because I've heard that the series gets better with each book and I'm just planning on marathoning these. Basically, once I get to them, I'm just going to read both books straight through. The last book that I picked up this month was Yellow by Megan Jacobson, which I've heard good things about. I believe this is an Oz YA book. I've seen it around because this cover is just super striking. I really, really do enjoy this one. And when I picked it up in store, it has been signed, which is fabulous. So I'm hoping to get to this at some point. I don't know too much about it. I know that the main character is 14 years old. I believe there is some bullying going on with her friendship group. Her mother is an alcoholic 
and there's something about it and something about a ghost that talks to her so this sounds really 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 intriguing and I'm looking forward to picking it up. So that is everything that I picked up this month. I'm not going to attempt to hold those up. Let me know down in the comments what did you pick up in the month of March. I hope that wherever you are in the world you're having a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.